guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm finally back to do a review. I have so much built-in energy in me. I can't even tell you guys because working in an office, you know, you have to be quiet, you have to be chilled, and you know, you just... I feel like I have so much energy built in me. But anyways, so off topic, right at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty matte and metal melted shadows she sent me all her colors and these look so good i've seen so many um cool instagram videos on these so i'm really excited to try them on my eyelids okay right here are all the shadows they look so cool i really want to do two different eye looks i mean i have to do two different eye looks whenever i review like eye stuff i think i have to just do two different eye looks it's just going to become a thing now. i just want to say a huge thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart for all your kind words on my previous video um i'm feeling so much better day by day but i just want to thank you for all your kind words because it honestly means so much so especially when you guys made such nice comments about my grandma just by looking at the video and her pictures but anyways, I'm going to do my post notification shout out day. I'm going to give it to Ams X. So thank you so much for your... Thank you so much for your comment. It really, really does mean a lot. So yeah, if you want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and let me know in the comments below. Look, these clips here, yeah, they're not doing anything for my hair. I thought, you know, let me get my hair out of the way because I just washed it and straightened it. So I went on the website, these cost £22, get 2 mil on each side, which is not bad for an eye product, I might have to compare to others. 22 that makes it £11 per 2 mil. Um, you get a matte side and a shimmer kind of side. Liquid eyeshadows unite two incredibly long wearing, insanely pigmented formulas. The first is a velvety pillow soft matte, while the second is a melted glimmering meta metallic formula. I cannot read. Simply sweep the metallic hue on over the matte or we wear each separately for a dreamy eye look in two effortless steps. The colours are to die for, of course. I've seen that people can blend these so easy, so I'm so excited to try this. I'm gonna, I don't know what, I don't know which colour to use. I think we're gonna try this this one this one is shimmering sunset i'm just gonna put this as a transition color like the matte shade so that's the matte shade and the shimmer shade comes more in like a brush rather than a um doe foot applicator it's a shimmer shade look at that i'm not gonna use a shimmer right now i'm just gonna wipe with the matte quickly Then I'm just gonna take my brush. I mean, it is quite light. It's quite light, guys. Let me zoom you guys in. But it blended really nice. I'm gonna go for a slightly darker one. So this is hot sauce. Hot sauce. So this one is called hot sauce. Can you see how creamy that matte shade is? some of this in the crease now we're gonna blend 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 i'm actually just so shocked at how like well these are blending I realised with Huda Beauty, like, she wears really, like, soft eyeshadow looks a lot of the time, like, soft matte shades. I'm so used to seeing, like, those dark, super pigmented mattes put on the lid on Instagram, but she's more, like, softer with her eye looks. I don't know if you guys, you guys have noticed, and I feel like this is giving more of that look. I'm just going to pop some eyeshadow on this. I'm going to take her nude eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to grab this shade right here. Just want to make that a little bit deeper. I think I'm going to take like one of the really light shades. So this one is Faux Fur. It's got a super light matte shade in it. I think I'm just going to try and see if I can cut the crease with this. Because this is like almost a concealer shade. That is beautiful. Those are the two shades right there. I need to wax my arm, so please mind that. And my hand. I have a hairy hand. Look 
because that's so like that's such an intense color i'm just going to take some of the other shade oh my god these dry like intense i'm just taking this shade right here which was hot no this was cherry soda what oh no hot sauce and i'm just gonna kind of like help transition these two I just wanted to try a soft eye look and I'm going to do something a bit different on the other eye but that is not bad. Got some Revolution Mascara. Oh, I love this look. Righty-o, let's try the other eye shall we? I'm going to take some purple, this shade is Silky Bomb. I mean the mattes like when you blend them they kind of like wash out a little bit but if you want you can like pack it like I did with the cut crease and it's still really nice they do take a bit for to dry but once they dry they dry this one is bubble bath pink champagne this one is bamboo hoops it's one of my favorite hot sauce and cherry soda shimmering sunset private jet then we have silk bomber right there and then bubble gum right here. I mean, my swatches could be better. They could be better. Do you know what? I'm just gonna take deepen it a little bit with her palette. I'm gonna take Love Bite, which is this shade right here. I think I have to use my favorite shade, which is Bamboo Hoops. I just love that you can just do a straight up cut crease with these. Use your finger to tap. I mean, they're just so easy to work with. I'm gonna take pink champagne. Put that in the inner corner. Oh, that is intense. Oh, I'm now taking a bit of bubble gum, which is part of the purple one. It's a shimmer in the purple one. Can you just see the blend? The blend is beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, under the eye. I mean, they just blend so nicely. I think on this side, it's only right that I take the purple one because those are the, like the two darkest shades. I think if you're a darker complexion, I would only suggest the um silk bomber bubble gum version or the hot sauce cherry soda one because they're really dark but then the shimmers in the other ones are so nice and the matte colors you can just do a really nice cut crease with so it just really depends like what you're looking for i'm going to try and use the matte as a color I am so pleased. Look at that. Are you not? I love it. And on my lips. It actually works really well on the lips, to be honest. Like, I don't know how it will wear throughout the day, but it's definitely on them. It doesn't even feel dry, which is so weird. I love these two eye looks. Literally, nothing is coming off my eyes. So now, let's go into my thoughts. I definitely feel like they blend really, really nicely, especially the mattes, which mattes. Especially the mattes, which I was super surprised about. But they just blend effortlessly. When you blend them, they're not as bright. But if you build up, it does get a little bit brighter. 
um, like if you were to put it all over the lid I feel like it would be true to colour like I did here but you have to use more tapping motions on the lip like it's bomb the shimmers are just perfection like it's so it almost looks like foil on your lid and it best thing is no fallout nothing it's just intense beautiness if that's even a word now the mattes that are dark enough for a deeper complexion I feel like that you know that would show a lot as a color would be definitely um, the purple one and the uh, red uh, hot sauce one so these two now the others have more like much lighter mattes and I feel like these would be good if you do really like the if you do really like the shimmers because these are super pretty like pink champagne bronze gold shimmers like foils but the mattes are like more crease it would be more of a crease colour for most people out there so I think that's what she wanted to do you can just literally do an instant cut crease in seconds um, especially with the glitter I literally did that with no brush no brush guys I'm just really really happy um, with these how that with, with how these turned out I'm just going to be using the, the foils throughout Christmas season um, they're just so bomb like this like you cannot say this is not a good product like it's literally not coming off my lid nothing that's just eyeshadow but it's not coming off you can see like it's, it's not moving okay this is so nice for every day this if you want to go out it looks nice on the lips and i really feel like this would stay on my lips like all day long so but i can't i can't i don't have proof of that i haven't tried it all day long but if i have used it all day long i'll keep you guys updated in the info box because Stila is like one of the liquid eyeshadows that everyone uses. So I'm just going to use that as a reference. And like a high-end brand as well. So for them you get 4.5 mil for £24. It's kind of the same. You get... Uh, so for 2.25 mil you get 12. So 12 for 2.25. The other one you get 11 for 2 mil. For... Um, for 11 pounds for two mil with the Huda Beauty one. So the pricing is actually quite similar to them. So that's okay. Um, but I think these are so good that the price is actually not bad. You get two colors as well. It's not just one shade. I love the concept of the matte. Even if like, let's say you get one with not a dark matte, you can use it for cut crease and on, you know, it's just so good. Like even look at the inner corner shimmers. They're just so beautiful guys i'm so happy i mean i try to point out the bad things about these but like what is there bad to say i mean the only thing is it's like maybe if you're really deeper in complexion some of these colors won't show more of a color there'd be more of a like lighter color not as a um a transition shade or a um definition shade it would be more of a color for the lids the packaging feels so sturdy so heavy like they literally feel so high end and yeah i'm just really glad with these honestly they're so nice and i definitely recommend them for all complexions i feel like you can get a beautiful cut crease with these even even if it's too light and the sh the foils are just perfection so yeah all right i think that's all i have to say let me know if you have any comments comments any questions in the comments below and yeah if you want me to review a specific product also let me know i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one